Mauri ora ki a koutou o ki a koe, ko au, ko koe, ko ia. Ko ra te mahi i tēnei wiki nera, ko te tūpau. Tūpau takitahi, ko au, ko koe, ko ia. Mauri ora whānau. Nei rā, ngā mihi, ngā mihi mai o hā, ngā mihi aroha, a ki a koe, ki a korua, ki a koutou katoa. Kei ngā tō pito e whā o te motu, puta noa ki te ao nui tonu. E rongo whake iria ki ronga, kia tīnā, tīnā haumea hui e tāi ki e. Kia ora koutou, kia ora kia koe, ko tahi anake i reira, engari, ko tahi anake te taringa e whakarongo ana ki ngā reo, ki ngā reo me ngā mihi kia koe nō reira. Kei te mihi atu ki a koe. A te wā pia, kei haramai tētahi atu, kā tahi ka mihi au ki a kōrua. A te wā pia, ka tau mai tētahi atu, tau muri, ka mihi atu ki a koutou, katoa. Engari i tēnei wā, ka mihi au ki a koe, o tira ki a tātou whānau, whānui katoa. Aha ko, Kei hea koe, kei hea koutou rātou, kei ngā kainga, kei ngā wāhi mahi, e mahi ana, e rongo ana, engari, ka nui te aroha, kia, kia koutou katoa. Mauri ora whānau. Whānau, as you can see, I'm on the run, I'm tī on the run, is kei te waipauna mua hau, where they must have been the currency back in the day was the pauna mu. Kei te wai pounamu, well one of them, up where we came from it might have been Kereru, or where you from might be Kaimoana or Koura. But i tēnei wā, kei te wai pounamu au e mihi ana ki a koutou, kei o tautahi. Te wāhi e wāhi e tipu ake ana au e i konei, kei o tautahi o tira ki a Christchurch. I tēnei nana ke e mihi ana ki a koe. Uh, yeah, how are you? How are you? Oh, ka mihi au ki a kōrua, tokorua o koutou i reira. I can see two people have joined us and nō reira. Uh, mihi nui ki a kōrua, thank you for joining in tonight. Um, I was round, I'm down here in Te Waipaunamu and uh, it's my tuahine. My tuahine, my sister's uh, birthday, the big Hawaii Five-O. So we thought we'd uh, sneak down and we snuck up on her and had a, or the whānau put together a surprise um, birthday for her. So so hence on the run a bit, um, but that's a good thing with technology and, and the phone, eh? we can still uh, bring it with us and have a catch up and see how you all are. So uh, how are you all? Can you, can first of all, can you hear me okay? And can you see me okay? Is, have we got a good reception? Is it okay? Oh yeah, Ho hopefully it's okay. I can't um can't see any um corded or there, but uh, hopefully you're okay. Um, our mahi, our mahi during this week was was all about uh, what what we refer to. I suppose um I think there's many names and different teaching methods, but uh, one of the names we used to use uh, within the Atarangi was the tupo, the tupo, and then that referred to uh, I think like that to personal pronouns. And in the singular, tūpō takitahi. Try that, tūpō takitahi. And that's identify in the singular, me, you, him or her. And as you know, as those, those of you who do know, but some don't, then um, the ear refers to him or her and there's no gender. There's no gender with, with, that, with that kūpū. Yeah, and especially just why now we just keep it on the personal pronoun and on that approach for now, tupo takitahi. And as as we covered during the week on uh, Rahina on Monday, that was myself, yourself, and him or her. So, uh, oh, kia ora, kia ora koutou, kia ora rā nera, kia ora, um, how, how's the reception, we all good? Um, good, you, you're, you're riding, coming across Tino Pai from... Um, uh, ahi te reiria, te, te pāpaka a Māui. Whereabouts are you, um, brother? Whereabouts are you? 
I forgot where you are. Kia ora, brother. Kia ora. Kia ora, Ehoa. Uh, Kei te pai kwe. Oh, ka pai. Ka pai. Oh, well, we've we, we got a, not a bad reception. Ka pai, Ehoa. I'll keep my morphiti handy so I can... Uh, yeah. Oh, piri pane. Piri pane. Brisbane. Piri pane. Oh, ka pai. Ah, uh, kei te pē hea koe, kōrua, me tō hoa, me tō whānau, i reira, kei te pai, te mahi. Yeah. Oh, ka, ka rawe e hoa, koutou katoa, whoever's uh, joined us out there, no, nice, nice to have you along. Um, I don't know how you got along with the rota rota, uh, sometimes they can say that's like a child's limerick and that, but um, it, it's all sorts of things. I think you can hear in that word. Rota rota. They also use that for um, for sign language. Maori oh, for sign language. Uh, te reo rota rota. But also uh, from what I've uh, learned in the past, it's sort of the rota rota is also like a limerick, just something you say to help you uh, hold on to something and retain it, just like a waiata. But in this case, it's a rota rota. And perhaps we'll start with that to refresh our memory. Um, as to what last this week has been about. Can you remember it? Ko au tēnei. This is me, eh? So it covers um, the personal pronoun with ko au. Tēnei is the kupu wahi, is the locative, and that's me here. This is me. And is that the statue, bro? Is what it, what the statue said is statue, bro. But in Māori, like the teko teko says the other one, tēnā koe. So that's our locative. Ko au. Tēnei, kei roto i te whare. Ko koe, tēnā, kei roto i te whare. Ko ia, tērā, kei roto i te whare. Kei roto, in the possessive here is whose whare is it? I tō tātou whare e. What for? Ki te ako, i tō tātou reo e. But see how simple that is, but see how it covers so many things from the personal pronoun to the locative, uh, to the context, to the, to the kaimahi, to the mahi, and, uh, and ki te wahi, the kupu wahi, locatives. Kei roto, kei hea koe, kei roto i te whare. So let's, uh, let's kick that off uh, and get the roto roto on, just to get our our, our, our Koro koro rolling and a hiningaro and to switch on our, our hiningaro for a little bit of a kōrero tonight. And then we're going to introduce the the plural, the takirua, tūpō, takirua. Uh, me and someone else, you and someone, those two. And don't forget the last one, tāua, you and I. But in the roto roto we just do the first three. And then we go into tūpō, takitini, three or more. Mato. Koto, Rato, Tato. So I think we'll kick our night off and we'll warm up with that Fano, that Rota Rota. This is me in the house. That is you in the house tonight with us rocking it out. What for? Kitiako ito Tato Reo E. So here we go. Toru, Fa, don't be shy to join in. Ko au tene, kei roto ite fare. Ko kwe te na, kei roto i te whare. Ko ia te ra, kei roto i te whare. Kei roto i tō tātou whare e. Tch, 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 tch. Ki te ako i tō tātou reo e. Tch, tch. Ko maua, kei roto i te whare. Ko kōrua, kei roto i te whare. Ko rāua, kei roto i te whare. Kei roto i tō tātou whare e. Tch, 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 tch. Ki te ako i tō tātou reo e. Tch, tch, tch. Did I get that right or did I do that? Hey, mātou. Ko mātou. Kei roto i te whare, ko koutou, kei roto i te whare, ko rātou, kei roto i te whare, 
Kei roto i tō tātou whare e chich. Chich. Ki te ako i tō tātou reo e. Ka pai. I don't know if I jumped one there, but we're going to go one more. So you guys, make sure you join in. I'm going to check up. You really run here a koutou ma? Join in from Tupo Taki Tahi, Tupo Taki Rua, Tupo Taki Toru. Let's go Fano. It's like this is all we've got. This is what we've got tonight. This is us. Toru pa koa te nei kei roto i te pare ko koe te na kei roto i te pare ko ia te ra kei roto i te pare kei roto i to tato fare e chich chich ki te ako i to tato reo e chich. Ko mātou, kei roto i te whare, ko koutou, kei roto i te whare, ko rātou, kei roto i te whare, kei roto i tō tātou whare e tch-tch, tch-tch, ki te ako i tō tātou reo e tch-mehete, kei ronga no atu koe, Kei runga no atu kōrua, kei runga no atu koutou katoa. Tā pai whānau anei tō tātou a mihi, whakatau, i a tātou anō. We all welcome each other here tonight. We're all in the house. Kei roto i te whare, what for ki te ako i tō tātou reo e. Nō reira, ka haere ngā mihi. Ki a ia, ngā mihi ki a ia a te wāhi ngaro. A tērā pia, ka ka tuku te karakia, just for a warm-up, te karakia that will be for tomorrow for te wiki tua whā. We're nearly halfway te wiki tua whā. A karakia tua whā, we ended up calling that. Because it's an acknowledgement of... knowledge and education so we wanted to give it a name to set the to set the intent so in english so we understand and we called it uh, mihi uh, to knowledge and understanding and then i don't know a week or so went by and then all of a sudden i woke up one night and says no we're going to give it a new name and we ended up calling it uh, te mauri a te mātauranga and um, if the other ones have been about food and about the universe and about concepts and beginnings, this one again is like a concept and a beginning of knowledge and education and the whole journey. And then someone's uh, knowledge and understanding and a kaumatua and all his knowledge that he's learnt along the way. But it starts right at the back at the beginning, like we see, kote pū. But in this karakia, it's, it pertains it's pertinent um, to knowledge itself and we took it back through its stages and we talk about it in its infancy and then back to its uh, inception and conception and that's when we talk about te kukuni and that swelling and it's growing and it, then it forms as a thought in your mind um, yeah and the anticipation inside you and it creates this anticipation just like we're doing tonight, to have a wānanga. And from the wānanga, te matau. And then, and then from all that, from that inception of a subconscious thought to, to its uh, outcome, which is some knowledge at the end of tonight, that's what this karakia is about. So um, for those of you who know it, um, we'll start there in Ate Kukune. And, uh, and those of you who don't know, uh, hopefully I, I can find it here tonight on my phone, as I said, I'm away from home, and uh, we'll pop it up and it'll be there for you tomorrow. Okay, nā te kukuni, eh? Nā, and that's through, nā te, as a consequence of nā te kukuni, kapai. Nā te kukuni, te pupuke. Nā te pupuke, te hihiri. Nā te hihiri, te mahara. Nā te mahara, te manako. Nā te manako, te wānanga. Nā te wānanga, te matau. 
hau mie hui e tai ki e. I reckon we'll just run through that again because uh, that felt a bit short. I could have even missed some, but um, kaita pai. That's what this is. What live is about. It's about just being us, being being at being at peace with who we are and where we're at, and just feel free to join in, do the parts you know, and uh, we'll let go of anything else. Our intent is the main thing, but we'll try that again because if anyone out there is learning, this can be a learning for you tonight and then tomorrow. When we put it up, you'll know what the karaki is about. So it just repeats, na te. From this causes that. From that comes that. Na pai? Na te kukune. Na te kukune. Te pupuke. Na te pupuke. Te hihiri. Na te hihiri. Te mahara. Na te mahara. Te manako, na te manako, te wānanga, na te wānanga, te matau. Haumie, huie, pū, taiki e. Kia ora koe, kia ora koutou, uh, who just joining us. Ha, ha, I can't even see, wrong glasses. Oh, kia ora Rochelle, mihi nui kia koe Rochelle. How's that rōwhata, eh, you keeping him in line? Did he get any contracts after that waiata? <laughs> Too much, my bro. Oh man, Fano, um, my mate Ropata helped me out with that waiata. I said, bro, can you help me out? And he didn't even know what I was going to get him to do. And I said, I'll oh, just stand over there. And when I wave to you, come over here. And when he saw he was on the camera, man, he was nervous as. But um, tinopai, tinopai, yeah. As you saw, his heart's in the right place. Just his legs were in the wrong place. He's still over there. And we had these whole lot of bloopers I meant to put together. Um, I said, Ropata, all you got to do is turn up over here. When I say maua, then you'll be next to me. And I don't know how many takes we did, but uh, I think it got past five. <laughs> yeah. But I'll bugger it. The other day before I was coming down here, I was going through my phone to, to empty it out before I came down and so I can do some mahi. Oh, I delete. I deleted all my all my videos and even next week's ones. I deleted them all on Friday before I left, by mistake. But Kate Pai, that's how life goes, eh? And in, especially in live. But Kilda Koto, I'll kill. I'll try and see. Needs more work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's doing my head in. Oh, Kapai Ropata. Too much, bro. You'll get it. I'm sure you'll get a contract from. TV, uh, Aotearoa, Māori television. <laughs> Tēnō pai whai uh, koutou, uh, te whānau. So there's our little karakia. And that's the whole reason we've... Yeah, laugh. <laughs> Laughing my head off. <laughs> um, that's why we're here. And that's the anticipation. And um, uh, as I'll say again, thanks for joining us, whānau. I come down here and... Um, I've been really grateful and humbled by the um, the support we've been getting with the whole co-papa. It's actually been a pleasure to put it together. To be honest, uh, might be a little bit of a logistical uh, trial uh, to get it all done. But as you all know, all these things are about um, trial and error and um, letting go of some things if you can't achieve it. But uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty much, Ropata and I and the Fana, we're pretty much uh, committed to bringing the next 10 weeks and we've got we've got more lined up too. We're looking forward to it. But um, with one phone for a camera and two hooligans for a director and a, um, <laughs> and a, and a cup of tea maker. <laughs> yeah, but we'll get there, eh, brother? We'll get there. And we're very grateful to you all for the, for the support. So um, anyway, did you guys learn anything last week? Did uh, did you? How did you find it? Did you get anything out of the mahi? Um, um, you know, you probably already knew that, but it, did it consolidate anything for you, or um, did what well, was it? Any outcomes for you guys there? Did you get anything out of that? I'm just um, I'm just checking how this works. I don't have my phone. Not that one. Show live chat. Cool, cool.
Uh, sorry, Fano, just trying to turn something off. Ooh. Uh. Sorry, my, sorry, Fano. I'm too scared to press that button up there because I think it might make you go. I've made something come up. I can't get rid of it. I'll just leave it, okay? As long as that's not a, is a, is the screen still clear, Fano? Because I got all this stuff on there. <laughs> yeah, shoe phone. Remember Maxwell Smart? Well, that was us on Monday. Rahina. Te rātuatahi rāhina, we talked about personal pronouns. Kia ora, something's happening. I, again, for me, are strengthening my basics. Yeah, kapai bro, and the karakia is helping in many different aspects. That's awesome to hear, Ranera. That's um, really awesome to hear, and I think that's all, all we're working with, really, and how we see it, just... The beautiful, um, the simplicity and the complexity of, and the beauty, the oratory, just the whole thing of the real way, it's, it's beautiful. And we got plenty of time to go out there and go and join other wānanga, uh, where they're going to teach you a whole lot of other things. But um, that's where I'm at too, Raniera and Fano is uh, strengthening what we already have, just, just the simple things. And as I've said out there, I'm... Um, I'm humbled now just to actually ask someone would they like a cup of tea instead of telling them they look like one. And the difference of a he, te, me, ngā, or o, koe, ia. And as you know, as you know, Rānera and some of you out there, then then those patterns that we follow will, will, will grow. They'll grow and we'll get like subliminal learning. We'll learn things with, without learning. And as you grow on, now you've done o oh, queer ear, now you start to be more au okay with māua, kōrua, rāua, tāua, mātou, kōtou, rātou, tātou, katoa, and all those, and in their context. Then as you know, once you've started to get that locked down and the pattern, and practice with your fa family, your family, your whānau is across, your farmo, <laughs> practice with your farmo, um, and practice that. And um, some people like to change the order, but I, I would just like to say, keep the order. O que ia, and I'm, if I'm talking to you, I'll just use you as an example. Uh, Raniera, ko te muarekia ho, ko Raniera koe, ko 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 mere ia, kapai. Ko te umuarekia hau, ko rāni e re koe, ko mere ia. And then once you get that locked down, especially with someone you're teaching, um, and in teaching it's going gonna, it's gonna to consolidate, like you say, what you know. Uh, and, then, and then you build that pattern in them, and they don't know they've got that pattern. And then I can say to you, rāni e re, ko wai koe, ko rāja pai, ko wai au. Kāpai, ko wai ia. Kāpai, and if you're still listening out there, Rochelle, I'll start with me. Rochelle, ko wai au. Kāpai, don't get cheeky. Ko wai koe. Kāpai, and that's Rōpata, I think, over there, Dr. Rōpata to us. Ko wai ia. Kāpai, whānau, and then you follow that pattern, and you keep that pattern rather than getting tricky uh, because you can trip the person up. Kapai. And then, then you can start adding it to it. And once they've got that pattern, then as you know, Rāneira and others out there, then when we start bringing in this uh, māku, māu, māna, he kapati, māu, and then they'll, they'll subliminal learning, will, will, they'll, they'll half pi know that before you even ask them. He kapati, māu. Ai, he kapati, māku. He kaputi mana, ai he kaputi mana, and once again, those are personal pronouns. It's just in the singular. Would you like a cup of tea? He kaputi mau, ai he kaputi maku. What about Ropata? Does he want one? He kaputi mana, kaputi for him or her. But anyway, tino pai and thank you, Ranina. Thank you for that feedback. I appreciate it. Um. Who's a bit ho-ha with me for not putting, not sending out the um, 
the PDF and the and the um, and the ebook. Aroha mai mo taku he. When I stayed up on Friday, I finally got a ticket to come down south here, and then I went. Oh, so I stayed up all Friday night doing all the mahi and the videos and that, and I was writing out the PDFs and that. But after about two o'clock, about half past two in the morning, when I deleted all my videos, I just went. Oh, I was over it, and I, I, it just destroyed me, and I, I didn't even have enough kaha to finish off uh, doing the the. The, e, the email and the PDF and I'm really sorry for that whanau um, but um, I, you know we're all improving in a self-improvement and I've got some things to work on like lots really but one of them is um, is my time management I don't think you're allowed to swear on here but I suck at it it's my worst thing no wonder my old man always used to call you say to me takaware takangaro it's like a kiwa, hey, takaware takangaro. Try that. Taka. Must be like that, yeah. Takaware takangaro. Anyway, always, whenever I was late or what I was doing, he'd say that to me or write it. I said, why do you always call me that? He goes, because that's you. <laughs> but I remember the kiwahas and that sometimes they're not totally literal. Hope you have a good break and come back um, with lots of money for it. Oh no, and come back fresh. Then you can focus on positive. Ka fai. Ka fai, Rochelle. Ranieta, I, through you, I've been taught something that so far no book online, Wānanga, has taught me. And it is to appreciate and focus on the pronunciation of the kupu. Thank you. Thank you, Ranieta. Thank you all. Thank you all. It's awesome, eh? And now, and now, Ranier, and then you go and share that to the next person. And you know, Fano, they say, Ko te reo, te Māori, o te Māori. And there's a beautiful little, almost like a limerick. And, you know, just when you hear Māori, you don't even know the difference when you don't know this stuff. And, then, you know, one time now, I might have thought they were the same word. Māori. Māori. And there, there, there's a classic example of um, making the sounds right because they're, they're two different things, even though they're two special things. Ko te, ko te reo, te Māori, o te Māori. And it's sort of like saying the reo itself is the actual life essence of our people. And, and of our language. And it is. If you think about it, here's the three things. Ko te reo. Here's a he te ngā. Ko te reo. Te Māori. O te Māori. Three simple things. But that's what they're saying there. The language is, is the, the vehicle. The life essence itself. And so that's why, as we know, why... It's important to get the vibrations and the sounds right. To, you know, I don't know bugger all compared to a lot of my bros at the Wananga and that, but I'm really humbled by that, by the simplicity and the beautifulness of that and those concepts. So ka pai raniera, yeah, now you share it. And what you're doing is you're passing that modi on. Something we all know the say, but how simple is that? Pass it on, pass it on. And then one day, Raniera, when one of your, when you, when me and you were in the wheelchair and are pushing us along, and then, then you see your kids stand up and say, Tihei Māori ora. Oh, no, I don't know, I became, I didn't mean to, but I'd be taking that for granted. And now I say to myself, hey, is your Māori ora? I say, shut up, I know Māori <laughs> But I, that's what I said. Those three fingers pointing back at me told me I wasn't well. So it was about time to get out there and get cracking and do some ho order. I can't talk for anyone else, but my modi was in order through lots of things. And I found not just in te reo, uh, not just in my physical, but when we talk about the whole holistic well-being of a, of a, of a, of a, of a person, and as we know, they're taha hiningaro, 
taha wairua, taha tinana, and taha whanau. And you know, if you talk about that and how, how ma tākuta meihana jury in them have, have created that as a matrix now, that's a sort of a standard around all the organisations. They've, they've given it a lot of credence, you know, to what our tipuna left us, but it's become a, a, a standard around different organisations now. But I like to create this picture too, Fano. if you see those four dimensions, the taha, taha, um, hiningaro, mental stimulation and well-being, wairua, spiritual um, well-being, um, but positivity and energy, how's your wairua, your tinana, your physical and practical uh, uh, application of these things, but you're in the physical and your fano, and uh, not not just limited to your 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 own fano, just your whole social and uh, emotional well being, tino pai. But if we picture if we picture that fari, and we are a fari because we're the house and our wahine folk, as we talked about, they're the house of mankind, and thanks to them and our contribution, then then this is my house, this is our temple, that's our um, house of of. Uh, of well-being and for ourselves and we I can't say for you guys because that's not fair but I say to myself I have an obligation to come back from where I was and uh, do something about it and especially on behalf of people gone before us like our tipuna and even uh, some of us and some of Fano, if you've lost children or family of your own that didn't get a chance at life then it made me wake up and go what the hell am I doing carrying on smoking and boozing and been a hooligan so it's been good to come back and celebrate life uh, on behalf of all them that didn't make it and some of them might be only little babies didn't get a chance at life so what do you reckon I, yeah I felt I owe it to myself to come back and do something about it and hence why we're all here tonight to share Tihei Mauri Ora just while we're there Hopefully, uh, you know how I go, go all over the place, but I've created, or oh, well, I've done, I've done a little bit of a kaupapa, and I uh, called it te, te pai tafiti. I'll show it to you one day. I'll, I'll work a way out that I can show it to you on here. But um, the notion is a little bit like this. So we got those dimensions, and if you picture a fare tipuna and how it stands like this, and those are the actually the arms of the tipuna to welcome you, and then you've got the tickle tickle on the top. But without without being over overthinking and that that tickle tickle in my in my picture and in, in, in this concept is that's you. That's you. You're the king of your castle. And my job and well, well what I want to do is I want to encourage us all to become the kings of our castle, kings and queens. I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> um, yeah, of your own castle. And so then that will give the fifth dimension, uh Hiningaro, Wairua. Tinana, Fano, and Rangatiratanga. And if you're going to be the king and queen of your own castle, then that means you're going to excel. I want you all to start thinking about what is your Rangatiratanga? What is your purpose to be here? Yeah, what well, you know? Uh, what do you want to achieve? Whether it's, uh, and because I call it Nga Pai Tafiti, so there'll be. Um, There'll be a there'll be a finer. There'll be your your main goal in each area. Uh, where do you want to be, uh, intellectual or in Hiningaro? Where do you want to be, Wairua? Where do you want to be, uh, Atinana? And where do you want to be, Afano? With uh, social emotional connections and well being, and have a goal there. A goal for each one, and a goal for Rangatiratanga. And that's going to be your Paitafiti. That's your thing in the distance. So whether you set your this is a I've devised it as a I don't like saying the word, but like a goal setting plan. That's why it's called nga pai tafiti. So I want you to set a goal in each in each domain in each dimension, a goal for your physical, a goal for your hiningaro. You might want to say, oh, in three years I want to have a doctorate in this. You know, I'm just saying you might. Or you might just want to get a driver's license. And that's your pai tafiti for that, that, that and that. And then while you're there, I want you to think about 
yoranga tira tanga. I met one young girl and some people have been through a hell of a journey in their life, you know. She blew me away and she said, this young girl, bro, she's like about 13, getting kicked out of all the schools. But if you see what some people go through, you understand. See, what do you want to do, girl? She nearly blew me away. She goes, I want to be a veterinarian. I said, oh, can you spell that for me? <laughs> I thought, what an awesome thing. So that was... Actually, that was that was what she put for her rangatiratanga. I'm only telling you this so you can uh, start to imagine a concept for yourself or your family. So you can do this for yourself as an inner self-improvement plan. Or maybe you're going to do it as a couple. Or And then it's good to look at it for yourself. And then once you get, get used to the concept and how to do it, then look at it as a couple and then as a family. And I think, I believe you can apply this to anything. And then as even a sports group or a school or whatever. But going a bit all over, eh? But, um, well, it is about me, you, him and her today. And there's something to think about. Oh, with her. So I said, oh, yeah. And don't forget, these young guys were, um, weren't allowed into any school at all. And uh, so what we started to do, if that were... She knew, she knew she wants to be a vet, she knew. So some of the, so those are called the paitafiti, so what I say is, then I'll create three, is it three or four? Three, I think, one, two, three, might be three or four, because it's been a while since I got it out, but I've made it, it's all electronic, I'll share it with you as soon as I get it amped up again. And these things here, they're called te paitata. Those are, the, those are the attainments that are close to you that you can achieve. So just with that one place alone, uh, we teed up for her to get a um, things like this, like after school, uh, that she did a note and put it around these people to walk a dog like that. She was excited. All of a sudden, she was like really excited. And it was good being part of that. And then um, we said, oh, what are some other things that we could do to slowly get her to there? And then, you know, and so in these other areas too, we're working on helping her just get NCEA level one over there. Over here, you just might be trying to get to, um, our, oh, wanted to ride her bike to school. So there's your tahati nana. So you could start as simple as you like, Fana, and but like the real, keep it simple and keep your goals achievable. Or make them tafiti rawa, make them, you know, real goals to go after, you know, if, if you feel you can do that. And another one for her was, um, um, we started making inquiries to get her a job, um, a part-time grooming job on the weekends, like at the SPCA. So anyway, so that's your pai tafiti in each domain, just think about that. Think about your ultimate goal, what do you want to do? I know it's hard, eh? I'll be honest, I'll be honest about myself. It wasn't until one day I was working with someone and I was talking with her and she said, Matua, Matua, I said, what? She said, Whoa, what do you want to do and where do you want to be in five years? <laughs> and I said, oh, shit, you're not from Amways, are you? <laughs> she said, no, no, no. I says, but actually, as she asked me that question, for once in my life, it was like about, I don't know, about, five or six years ago maybe now I knew the answer I finally knew it sometimes it takes a while to get to where you're going and she said what is it and I looked at her and I so knew what I wanted to do in five years time and she said what is it and I said I'm doing it <laughs> and I really meant it and I and all I was doing is doing what I'm doing today and um and, and that's what I want to do. But like that girl, she wants to be a, a veterinarian. But it's just maybe just decide an idea of where you want to be and, and keep working that area. And then you might find your, your niche in that area. So yeah, keep picking away at it. Fano. Set those little goals, just like in a fitness uh, program. Set them for your real. Set them for yourself for this year. And let's crank it out, Fano. And uh, who knows, um, because, uh, you know, I like going on about about um, running in the Gregorian calendar, how we start at January till December. But then, I uh, don't know if you can see this, but the Māori calendar fits like this. 
exactly 12 months because because our tipuna made it to fit to accommodate the Gregorian uh, calendar of the day. I think there was an earlier one before that, before Craig and Gregory. But um, but our, our Māori calendar, they've made it, adapted it to fit alongside it. But the cool thing is, in our year, we have two years. It's like, yeah, boy. <laughs> the good thing is, this is how I believe it. Whānau, it's like, kei te pai. You know what happens at Christmas when you say no more presents and no more going down and booking up and I'm the first one to go down there try and book up a bike for the kids and all that. But So it's hard. It's hard to give up things and say I'm going to give up smoking, I'm going to give up drinking and um, and you've got a beer in one hand because it's Christmas and say I'll oh, give up. Kia ora, tēnā koe meriana, tēnā koe meriana, ngā mihi nui ki a koe. Thanks for joining us. I've gone off the kaupapa as usual, but it's still about ko au, ko koe, ko ia. And yeah, you too, Miriana. I know you told me you he tohu araga tira, tohu tane kauri e te Māori ngare e piriang pirangi ia ki te ako i to tato reo. And good on you, fire. You keep taking little steps. Pai tafiti, you taking those little steps to learn te reo. Even though you're a long way from home, and as we said before, ko te reo te Māori o te Māori, and that's in you, it's in your blood, it's in you, your whole inherentness, it's in there. Our tipuna with us, 24-7, lockdown. And just, just, just like them, we had to go further afield, further away from our marais to get a job, and yeah, at least some of you could afford to get to Australia. And I know you are working hard, and you wouldn't be on this channel tonight having a quarter or about to reo if it didn't mean something to you. So, Meriana, kia koe, uh, me to hoa, hoa, um, hoa tane. I think you qualify now, you're an official mozzie. <laughs> Shot. Kia ora koutou. Sorry for getting cheeky, but you know I like it. So yeah, that's it. Yeah, and um, and then then and then so I can't blame people when they can't uh, achieve their goals around uh, New Year's and around this time, and I know it's like it either makes you or break you. And a lot of Fano at the moment, I I don't know. I just believe that my our way to knows that a lot of people are struggling, and you know even though it's a good thing on one one hand to be celebrating what we're celebrating at Christmas, but um, you know inadvertently sometimes it puts a lot of strain on people, but. We're used to it. But the positive side of what I'm talking about is in the Māori kaupapa, if you don't make it and you don't manage to do those food goals or those real goals or your your things you set out for your family, just I want you to have a think about this. Work hard at it. Work hard. And as it was written to me, though we fall six or seven times hence, we stand up again, brush ourselves off, and mihi, uh, in our ngako, te tāpena karo te atua, the tabernacle of God of our tipuna is in one's own heart. Then your next best uh, port of call is your whānau. And then mihi atu ki a ia, there's the ia, au, koe, ia, talk to your hoa, and then mihi atu ki a ia. Uh, talk to your, to, your, to your creator, to your karakia, who you karakia to in your tipuna. Au, koe, ia, maua, kōrua, raua. Mato koto rato, mihi atu ki a rato ngā tipuna, and kita kaihanga mihi ki a ia. Aroha mai mo taku a uh, kotiti haere, ko kotiti haere ano au e te atua. A aroha mai mo aku hapa, mo aku hara, muru a mai aku hara, a manaki tia yahau me aku fano. Yeah, and start again. Though we fall six or seven times since. Get up, dust ourselves off, and give it another go, Fano. Give it another go. And if it doesn't work, Fano, I don't want you to know this. The big turnaround time for me in my life it was like a few years ago. I'm not giving away ages, but I was getting out there. <laughs> the big change in my life, like you fellas here, when I started to learn te reo. Ko te reo te Māori o te Māori. It was all tino pai, all my tino pai and my um, getting brought up 
uh, with with um, you know with karakia each week from from the Christian concept and that it was tino pai and our our kaupapa in those days he katorika mato and tino pai and I'm grateful for the teachings and learnings that I that I learned there. But I also might like to add that one day when I had another reawakening, and it was it was when I started like this like you Raniera koto learning to real. And those simple words. And I know you've been telling me you're getting up early to do your um to do your your uh, whakapakari te reo, uh, your your language workout. And I found it found it an awesome time to get up early. And if you're able to go somewhere, that's cool. Or if you're able to make that time in yourself with your family having a sleep, ten or pie, and it's just for you, koe, koe, koea. It's really all about you yourself and your maker and your tipuna and and uh, and, and using the wairua te wā me te, uh, te wāhi i ngā taha e rua, using the physical and yourself and, and then to 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 have a relationship uh, ki aia and to the tipuna I want you to know that it's very enlightening it's very helpful and for once in my life I sort of all of a sudden had this this new relationship with myself and with the real it was like the vehicle to kōrero ki for the first time I was going around calling myself a born again Māori for the first time 43 years old yeah oh and a couple of ducks that would turn up I said to my old man oh man this, this karaki is hard case and no one even turns up and he, uh, you know, uh, one dog and two ducks and he's always got to go one vera and he's up the bush. He used to write these out for me and he goes, Eh, hey, Tama man, you're lucky. He said, why? And he says, all I get was, uh, what was it, two flies and a spider and I was halfway through the karaki and the spider came out and ate one of the flies. <laughs> yeah, tino pai. Tino atahua te reo. Me tōna Māori, me tōna wairua, yeah, kia kaha koutou. Let it nurture you, even though you're far away from home and you can't be on your marae or you can't be there, or the marae is where you're standing. Your tūranga waiwai, wherever you're standing, your tipuna with you. Ko au, ko koe, ko rātou. Yeah, go hard, rock it out and just know that and breathe. Te hei Māori ora. Ka pai. Gee, I thought it was only going to be 10 minutes. I'm not touching this. Still got all these things on my... Oh, they're gone, yay! Right, yeah, any complaints? Hope you have a good... Oh, ka pai koutou. Hey, I'll move on, eh? Uh, we did... Um... Oh, no, 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 let me finish. <laughs> so anyway, you do all that. You set all your pai tawhiti, your long term, even if long term... For the first term might be six months from January to June. That could be a could be a window for you. Or might not be, but I'm just saying. But what I want to say is halfway through that period will be um Māori New Year. Yeah boy, we get another chance. And I want you to know all the years I tried to give up boozing and smoking and all the things that was wasn't too good in my life. I didn't mean it to happen, whānau. I, I tried and I tried and I tried and then I gave up trying 27 years with a fag in my mouth. I'm not even proud of it, but it's good to be honest. And boozing like a hooligan. And then one day my body started playing up in that. But anyway, one day I was minding my own business and it was back about then, about 2004 and that. Oh, about 2002 for the smoking. But in doing this mutty, and helping someone else, ko au, ko koe, ko ia, I wasn't even looking and next minute I'd, I'd given up smoking for three months and and I thought, oh hell, and then, and because I, I was helping someone else, I didn't mean to, I was helping someone else and they had a harder job than me because they'd just come out of recovery and I wanted to help them so much and then I made this promise that, oh, okay, I won't ever smoke. <laughs> And bugging me days like I only dropped them off and then I wanted to have one straight away and I was going, oh no, you can't even tell someone who's struggling like that, that and then not, not keep your word. 
And in the truth is, the truth is that person helped me. Because it was through that commitment to that person that uh, from that day until this day, I've never had another smoke ever since. And um, the the funny thing is, I, 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 didn't, I didn't plan to give up drinking, but I've never had a drink since then either because I said I won't go to the pub because when I go there, oh, that's when I smoke and drink and play up. Yeah, so I'm grateful uh, to that person I was helping and um, um, from that day to this, I've never ever been back to smoking or drinking and I'm very grateful for it. And once again, hence far know why I'm doing this to share, to give back to all the people that have uh, helped me along my way. So hopefully if any of this corridors uh, helps you or put you to sleep or at least you'll be having a good moi anyway. Anyway, where was I? Boom. This time, what is it? Māori New Year and everyone goes on about matariki this, matariki that. I said, oh, it won't be long. They'll be selling it to us in a plastic bag and... God, we, we, we can't help but like, would you, we never thought I'll be, you'll be going down to the market, eh, and buying watercress, eh? And I know some of you don't, but I know, eh, next minute we're going down to the Chinaman and he's selling us our watercress in a plastic, two dollars for hoops. But I'll say soon they'll be selling us matariki. It's just how it goes, eh, but uh, we can own it ourselves, eh, matariki. And matariki brought us out here, those stars. Ngā mata ririki, ngā mata ariki. If, if a face is your mata, then you look up at those stars, that's the face of the ancestors. That's the face that they looked at with all their karakia, all their modi, all their everything on a, on a waka from Tāne, from Tangaroa, from Tāwhiri. And those stars, they brought us out here whānau. And as I say, they'll bring us home again in every aspect of our lives. So kia kaha, keep working and using te reo. To offer you and your whānau. Te reo, me ona tikanga. Just keep it simple, follow the reo, and with each reo and each little thing you've been learning here, they have built-in tikanga. They're not just they're not just rules and guidelines. There's a tikanga within the tikanga, and then it'll slowly reveal itself to you. Boom, matariki. So just I need to keep an eye on that, but don't wait till that time. Do your goals now. Because then, when we have a new kopa, and we're going to call it Matariki Reset. So if you didn't make it over here, boom, reset here, and we get two shots. I'll show you what I'll, I'll share with you why this helped me when I, this is when I was able to give up. Because this is a natural calendar. This one's a bit different, you know that. This one's based on so many different things. And some of them are good, and some of them are so, mm, have a nice day, you know. And so Tinopai, Christianity, uh, fiscal and monetary and taxes and uh, regional celebrations and Halloween and Guy Fox, who are they? Alice. <laughs> but those are all a part of the things that you're subjected to every day in your children. And I've written out how many implications, and I think there's about 10 or 12 in a year. There's that many things that that compound on your family. And if you wonder why we need to go and get stress help and this and that, it's not your fault. If you wonder why things aren't ticking in our body clock, it's a little, we're a little bit stacked up against us. But the comforting thing is to know and to understand that and to love ourselves and to find a way forward. But what I found and what I find is um, if you look at the what's happening at this time of the year, it's Matariki. It's uh, June. And uh, it's a special time. Pipiri, it's when we talked about the whenua, but it's a good time for inner self-improvement. It's a good time. You'll see. We'll talk about it later another time. But um, you, know, you know how we talk about in the calendar, there's a season and a reason and a time for everything. In the whenua, and that also applies to us. But think about that. We have two shots this year, so think of your goals. Think of long term, short term, maybe six months, or maybe a year. Just think about that. Because I know lots of us, me included, we're looking at redoing things at the moment, and it's still early in the piece. People are just getting into new uh, 
new Wananga at the moment and some friends are going to start a new journey tomorrow with uh, and a lot of the Wanangas kick off. So yeah, I wish you all the well. Uh, ko au, ko koe, ko ia. Take care of yourself and you've got our wishes with you and your whānau. Don't forget, it's important. Uh, and take it from me, I'm the biggest hermit I know. But uh, the taha whānau relates to social and emotional well-being. And uh, when we're struggling, like when I'm struggling, it's very easy to cut yourself off. I cut myself off at the knees, that's why I became paralysed for six months, to learn the lesson. And I still find it hard sometimes, but it's important, it's important to try and have that social, emotional well-being and, and, and that's other networks. And, and it's simple as this, you've seen it written on your posts sometimes, and your physical and your sports posts. Align yourself with other like-minded people. That all is, all right, eh, Fanny? What do you think I'm... Come on, on here, I'm supposed to be talking to real. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you want to uplift someone? Kei ronga no atu. Kwe. Push. Kei ronga no atu. Kwe. Ki waha. Kei ronga no atu. Kwe. And that's when I was going to say that to you and we'll say it to each other. And you see someone say, Oh, bloody awesome work what you're doing. Kei runga no atu koe. Yeah, yeah. Kei runga no atu koe. Tēnā koe. Ka pai, brother. Yeah, ka pai. Cool. Thanks for listening to all that. I know it's a bit. But uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe uh, soon uh, our little little whānau group we're getting here, maybe soon we can all jump in together and we'll have a, we'll have a, um, might have a, at least once a month or every couple of months We'll do a Zoom session and we can all jump in. So you fellas can talk to me too. And we can talk to each other. And we could um jump in the groups. I'll split you up and put you in groups and um can talk about um how how the Pai Tafiti is going for you. We could we could try that. Even just you can apply it to anything, to Tareel, whatever. So Kyora, Kyora Rani. Kairunga no atu kwe. Kairunga no atu kōrua. Kei ronga no atu koutou. Ka pai whanau. And then uh, I think we went on to... Um, whanau, we've been going 57 minutes. <laughs> okay, I better hurry up. We can go on to... Uh, oh, then then we went on to the the, uh, the kianga. And we're just putting that in a little, little phrase, eh? Uh, ko au tēnei. But that's just some sentence structures. Keep working at that. Do the little bit. As I said, my apologies. Uh, when I get back, I'll, I'll I'll work hard at getting back up on to date with our um uh, with our PDF and our ebook. Because uh, it might not be reflecting at the moment, but there's going to be quite a I think quite a good output and a lot of extra for you um to expand in there. So just do what you can for now. That's that thing about kia pai tawhiti. Just grab what you can at the moment. Kia, kia ma, uh, whaia ngā mea tata. Just work on what you've got there for now. And my apologies for not being where, where I intended it to be. Uh, and uh, the whakatauki this week. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, ko au. You know, I was actually thinking of the one you know. And I, I, I don't know the full, there's more to it. But uh, especially the people from Te Whanganui and Te Whanganui, uh, the river. And they use the river as their context. But like Waikato used the river for their whakatauki. And it talks about the, the inception, the beginning of that river. And up, I think Tongariro or the various maunga. And how it comes down, they all attributes. And uh, the headwaters towards the Te Whanganui. And then, then they say, Ko au te awa, ko te awa ko au. And um, and a lot of people will say that too. They you know we we borrow we borrow that and say oh our our e we say that too. So, uh, but but it's good to know sometimes what particular fakatoki relate to a particular iwi because then it's a nice compliment you can pay them when you see them. Oh, ko te awa, ko au, ko au te awa. I am the river and the river is me. But that was our fakatoki and also. Uh, uh, it, it's there, it's there, and, and it says, ko au, ko koe, ko koe, ko au. and kia ora rā niera, kia ora koutou, uh, for writing in uh, 
your 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 thoughts and on what you think it was and i think yeah it's all of those all of those um we're at one i'm with you bro i got you i got your back <laughs> i got you we're all at one on here we're all at we're all we're all at one we're all together i'm with you but uh yeah um all of these um maybe it might have been harder to do with that one but challenge yourself uh, with the Fakatoki, I think for the Fakatoki each week, I won't give you the the meaning because I don't want I don't want you to be like this. I don't want you to be narrow minded. And once I paint something in your mind, you might not be able to look out of there. I want you to think laterally. And with all the Fakatoki, I'd like you to write it out at least three times. It's not hard. You can see I've typed it all out for you. Write it out three times in your puka eti. Um. And then write three different meanings because I think there's probably 300 different meanings, but find three different meanings that to give it contrast and different things. And also perhaps three different contexts where you could say it or locations at work or school or mahi or wherever, at a tangi, at a wedding, or could you say it at both? See, so I want you to think about those things and not be limited. Keita pai. Yeah, and that's your contribution. That's how you're going to grow out of this. I'm looking forward to seeing your fellows' uh, notebooks, uh, puka eti, and that um, at the end, end. Don't be afraid to fill them up. Don't be like me and say, oh, I like mine to look tidy. <laughs> fill it up. And then a bit like the karakia. Karakia, karakia, karakia. Then when you're sick of it, my mother said, then more. Karakia, karakia, karakia. So do your puka tuhinga, write it out, and then get your puka, your puka, oh, your puka, puka eti. Then get your puka tuhinga, your bigger one. Oh, then rewrite it, rewrite it out again. Gee, I hope there's not a rowdy music. I'm, I'm, I'm on here on my sister's uh, yeah, laptop there. Yeah. Yeah, and rewrite it out again in, 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 in your thing. And I think you'll be amazed with what you can do from this notebook to your, to your other puka, puka tuhinga, the puka eti to the puka tuhinga. Um, it would be good. Well, it's like that, eh? What you put into it, what you get out of it. Or to the degree you give to the middle line is to the degree you'll get out of it. If you get 30%, you'll get 30% back, maybe. But uh, just the goal is no more, no less. But if you give a hundred percent, what do you think you're going to get out of it? Hey, you, yeah, you, you're going to get rewarded from the Modi, Koteril te Modi o te Maori. Kapai, um, that was it. And then Rahina, Rahina was uh, was our um, our waiata or our rota rota. Uh, Raniera, I it's been a good exercise doing the Fakatoki. Sorry, here. Um, that way, because it has helped me not to take it so literally, yeah, as I was before, yeah, because it was a struggle in my head around them previously. Chora yeah, like literally, literally. I'll give you an idea of how stupid I am. One time I was sitting on the marae with my old man and um, we're two hoi kahungunu a ruapani and they'll tell me off for, for talking like this but um, it's alright, I'm used to it, you know. And you know, with my, my name and our tipun and that I should know a lot more but you know, I'm like you guys. Our dad came down out of the bush years ago to find work like all our whanau came down from the bush down to Christchurch to burn them to the army just like you fellas have to go to Australia to find work and you know some we don't know everything but anyway one time the, the old fellow was having a quarter I was sitting on the pipe pipe behind him and uh, someone said uh, he said something to them you know they have a bit of a laugh eh, on the on the line and they someone says something to him like hoi, mo, mo, kai, mo, mo. and I was like you down here I've been checking up in my dictionary it says wasters I'll give you wasters, and I was like, I was like, my old man goes, where are you going? I said, damn, you're getting cheeky. <laughs> you got to say, you take it too literally. Take it to heart. Oh, no, I'm one of those fellas. I was getting up to walk across the marae. I probably would have got a hiding. I deserve one. 
for takawari, takukuware to my own language, but they were paying a compliment. And so sometimes uh, in te reo, be careful if you take it too literally. Yeah, they weren't saying two hoi wasters of food. It says, on the contrary, it's a total opposite. They were paying a tribute to say, uh, lavish in food. Mo 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 kai. But if you be literal and you look up there and it says waste. And it does in one context. When someone throws the food away, you go, oh, mo mo kai. Yeah. But context. Hey. Eh? But when it's said on the marae, it's a total opposite. And they say, lavish. Lavish in food. And then if you get too literal, I'll be going, no. There's no food up there where they come from, the Uriwetas. Bro, they lavished in that there. The, the tongue of the, the, the kai up there is uh, the kereru. Hey, and all, 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 all the particular berries and the things that those people uh, that sustained those people in the bush all those years. And now kiore, not just don't think literal. It's a delicacy. And that's our koha when you go over there. You take that koha. Momo taonga. Wasters of taonga. No. Lavish in the taonga and the, and the, the, all that mahi taiaha and all those things that, that are pertinent to where they live. Momo tanga takite po, I'll give you away. <laughs> but that's, that's them. That's the, the thing to. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mihi to the people who have given, given their lives to go and tautoko or someone else. And mo mo tangata ki te po, and so, so it's a beautiful. And like that, even, and you're one too, Raniere, you know, I might look at it before and say, what do you mean, he piko he taniwa? <laughs> but same thing, oh, you know, I don't know what I, what I hear today is, yeah, yeah. Literally in the river, you say, oh, watch out for that tani whā, because that's where, you know, that's where some of them live, eh? You say, oh, don't go in that river, there's a tani whā. But, you know, on the contrary, in this time, Waikato tani whā rau, oh, they got a hundred tani whās, but even that's a metaphor. They got thousands, and they're not tani whā, they're the total opposite of a tani whā. There's a rangatira. Every bend on that river is another Rangatira, another hapu, another Ngati Tipa in the fare, <laughs> Ngati Haua in the fare, Rewi Mani Apoto, Koto Katoa, He Piko He Tanifa. Yeah, you're right, bro. Not too literal. So, oh, if I know, I think I've, I think I've uh, gone into overtime. <laughs> think I've gone into overtime. I, I think, yeah, yeah, sorry, I don't want, I'm sorry, I didn't even think we'd last 20 minutes tonight just because I'm away from my whare and my whānau. Oh, oh sorry, my, my, my whare up there, my whānau's here, my, this whānau. And just while I remember, you know, this is live and keeping it real and we've been down here for a hurito, but the hurito brought us back to our tipuna that lie down here and they say, kamate, kamate, kaora, kaora, and in death, there's life, and in life there's death, and and it's been an awesome time to come down here and touch base with the Fano and uh, on oh, for once on a on a good time on a hari huri to might be on a string sho shoestring budget, but you somehow you get there. And just on saying that, uh, I talked about in the Waidua, but in this thing of the Waidua, te wā me te wāhi e ngā taha e rua, we mihi atu ki arata. We mihi atu ki koe. Um, and one of our tipuna, one of our whānau back up home, uh, kua hinga, kua ngaro ki te pō, um, when we left, so we're going to go back to a tangi, tangi tomorrow, and even though that's sad whānau, but it's still a celebration of life, and one of our, our older koros up there, been around for a long time, uh, ko Piripi, uh, Matua Piripi Rawiri, Piripi Davis, so no reira i roto i tēnei āhuatanga, I know you join me in sending Naroha ki Arato and to his whānau and his nehu, his uh, tangihana is going to be on Tuesday so we'll just get back in time for that. 
to help them celebrate the life of their father and their koro. But yeah, I share that on here because that's what we're all about, eh? And I, I, I'm grateful. Thank you for your time to share. Um, I'm glad I snuck away from the whanau. They all around the corner still carrying on the birthday. And I'm, I'm very, uh, very humbled I managed to make it back to sit to talk to you guys. Um, Rani or Koko, um, I've got to be honest, I'm a bit behind on, on my videos. I think I said earlier that I deleted a whole lot of my stuff before I come down, but no excuses. I'll work on it. Uh, I'll work on getting us up to speed this week as soon as I get back and we'll get on top of things, eh? And we do what we can. But uh, just a bit of a heads up for you. Uh, tomorrow, uh, next week, it's about uh, we're going to use colours, just the simple colours. Um, if you can use, I want you to think ahead, you know the Rako that we've been using, I want you to think about the colours we talked about earlier on week one and two, about placement, to a tahi, to a rua, to a toru, I want you to think about that, and if you can find any of the mahi rako that I've been putting out there, you'll know there's a colour code, a colour sequence from one to ten, Kapai, kapai e hoa, kapai pai meriana. And I want you to think about that. I want you to think about the colours from 1 to 10. Just one colour for each one. And I want you to think about its placement. What is the first rako? O te hea te rako tuatahi. Which is the first rako? Ko ma te rako tuatahi. Kapai. So if you're wanting to look ahead... Start thinking about that. Just on that, a while back, someone made a comment that um, there wasn't too much uh, credence or, or, you know, to be had out of using numbers and, and colours and that, and maybe I could have maybe said, oh, yeah, keep the pie, but uh, the more I've been thinking about it, the more using these simple con con concepts, like Rani is saying, keeping it simple, the more it gives you a nice, easy foundation using something you know. O que ear, simple karakia, one at a time, and then numbers. Hey, you got a lot out of counting to ten, eh? You learnt a lot more, eh? And now, now we bring in colours, and we have a point of reference, so when we can put it all together, the number, the placing, tango here, fakahokia, e toru o ngara kofai, your sentences are going to grow. But as a little bit of a bonus, as you go on or you join me with some other classes, we'll talk about the other concepts of colours. And then you'll start to see, get a more of an insight into um, imagery and other concepts. Just from simple colours, you'll, you'll learn a lot. It's not just the fact that ma is white. <laughs> it's way more than that. Ka whai. Kia ora, Rochelle, having a good foundation helps you build and understand. Awesome, Rochelle. Awesome, and good on you. Really proud of you. Making a little beginning. That's the way. And your ho water. I know I saw you the other day rocking it out. Make sure uh, Ropata looks after those kids and doesn't have a sleep when you get home. They run down the road. <laughs> yeah, you're looking good too, Rochelle. Keep rocking it out. All right, Fano. That's us, eh? Otherwise, we'll have the Hillary Commission complaining you take too long. Nah, it's all right there. So, man, Hillary yeah, is a tinorangatira. Well, let's finish on our karakia. And that's been what this wānang has been about. Safe travels. Thank you. Thank you. I'm coming home on, on Tuesday if I don't get deported tomorrow. My nephew, he runs a gym down here, Natural Transformer. He wants to give us a hiding tomorrow, take us up the bridal track. I said, oh, I might find a bride or something. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, that's right. Who's that? Yeah, cut five, bro. Yeah, that's right. Tamariki, me, you, him, her, one, two, three, saying, yeah, that's it. Well, our karakia tomorrow, uh, if anyone's got it and you're able to, to, to post it in here, Pop it in, uh, otherwise, um, if 
I get onto things tomorrow, I'll pop it up. But it's cut it's, it's week four of our challenge of our Maori language our revitalization challenge within ourselves, Waka Rau Ora. And uh, um, it's week four, and we're growing on what we knew. Uh, we're building on that. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be adding prim primary colors, just simple. There's a lot more to go to it, but we'll just do a little bit. Primary colors and um, and the karakia tua fa, te maori a te mātauranga. And we'll finish on that. Try and sing it. And I'm sorry it's gone a bit long, but thanks so much for joining us tonight. And I'm um, looking forward to um, working on building this community and getting a little bit more contribution. Maybe you've got some ideas for me to help me how to do that. I'd love to get a lot more feedback from you guys. How can we do that? I'd love to hear some thoughts on it. Okay, our karakia. Nā te kukuni. Hey, and think of it. All those subconscious thought as you slept last night. Pumarie, pumarie. Kia koe. Pumarie koto. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you too, brother. Wait till I win lotto, I'm going to have a hui and you fellas all have to come. I'll just pay your ticket and we'll all come. We'll have a big hui, big wānanga. <laughs> yeah, I've got lots of ideas, lots of, I'm quite excited anyway. Doesn't take much. But yeah. Uh, that's us. I'll go around and see these haurangi lot because i got to drive them home. Lucky I did all my drinking in my day, eh? Ki te kapa, kapa mai. <laughs> Nā te kukune. Nā te kukune te pupuke. Nā te pupuke te hihiri. Nā te hihiri te mahara. Nā te mahara Te manako, na te manako, te wānanga, na te wānanga, te matau. Ding! Haumie, huie, taikie. Don't forget, uh, if you're able, to say that every morning. It's relative. It's all about your learning journey. Uh, yeah, and as you know, there's some, some videos somewhere on uh, YouTube um, in the um, in the week to week tutorial, little bit there to help you with that. Na te kukune, te pupuke, na te pupuke, te hihiri, na te hihiri, te mahara. Na te mahara, te manako, na te manako, te wananga, na te wananga, te matau. Tis done in our mind, and now the body will follow. Have an awesome week, Fano, and um, we'll see you, see you out there during the week. Ka fai, kia pai tō reo, kia pai tō, tō mahi, uh, aroha tētahi ki tētahi, and I'll see you soon. Pō marie, Fano. Thank you. Aroha mai. Are you in this day?